guys. The cows go nuts for this stuff. It's like candy to them, but it is what they're lacking in their diet. Conventional wisdom puts a mix out. In other words, a specific mix of minerals for the cows. My wisdom says, let the cows tell me what they're missing and build a custom mix for the cows. So if you've got all your minerals mixed together as in a salt block or a mineral block that you typically would put out in your pasture, you just don't know what's lacking and the cows may not be getting the appropriate nutrition or the soil may not be getting the appropriate nutrition. What they need in here is what is lacking out here. Release our chain and drop these flaps down. Again, the cows will just take their nose and simply lift up on this flap. This flap keeps the rainwater out and keeps from damaging the minerals that are in here and making them turn into little bricks, okay? So the first time I had to refill this was probably about three weeks ago, maybe a month ago, and I'm making a mental note and I'm actually taking pictures of what the cows are consuming the most of. Your farm will be different than my farm. Your property will be different than my property. Your soil will be different than my soil and your cows will be different than my cows. So I need to take note of what the cows are consuming the most of. And then when I order my next pallet of minerals, I'll know what to get. Only get one bag of the thing that they don't use much and get about five bags or a year supply of what they'll use the most. Now they're gonna eat different minerals in the winter time versus the summertime. So you've got to take notes and keep records. Let's tow this over into the pasture. Morning girls. Come on. Come on girls. Woo. As you can see, that was a cattle move. Literally, open a gate, cows go through, close the gate behind them. This section of pasture right here is about three acres. The reason I'm giving them a larger section of pasture, typically we're looking at an acre to an acre and a half for 50 cows here. Reason I'm giving them a larger section of pasture is because we need them in the shade today. It's gonna to be 87 degrees this afternoon, and these are black cows. They need to be in the shade they have already swarmed the mineral feeder. So let's talk about placement of the mineral feeder. And if it doesn't work, I don't know, call me a fool, look at them. The placement of the mineral feeder depends on where you want to stimulate grass growth. So this is only gonna be here for about 24 hours for the cows to get their minerals, right? Well, we want the minerals accessible to the cows, but we wanna put it in a spot. That's the bull, by the way, I wanna keep an eye on him. We want to put it in a spot that has a few weeds in it. Let me show you where I parked it the last time. And what this does is the cows basically destroy the weeds with their hooves and stimulate good grass growth. Look, check it out. Hey dude. <laughs> so this is exactly where the mineral feeder was last time. And we've got awesome fresh grass right in here. We've got some big blue stem. We've got some fescue. We've got awesomeness going on right there. 